What? But Color 4, you've already done all the paths in this game. How come there's oh, more? Right there. Well, there's still some more stuff oh, we have to explore, so I figured make a bonus video covering all of it. So, first thing we want to show off is, I mentioned in the first episode there was this fun option. We're gonna go there. Let's play a game. To win the game, you need to get your pieces all the way around the board, back to their home. The spinner in the middle tells you which color to move to next. Choose the pieces you want to be. I'll be umbrellas. You picked umbrellas. The umbrellas go back to the rain cloud. It's your turn. Okay. So this is a pretty luck-based game, much like on-ramps and off-ramps. So you do not want Pajama Sam's uh, troop it's to catch turn. up to you. And of course he had to pick the ones that were right behind mine. Also, there is some strategy. You can also put more than one piece on the board at a time. But I don't really recommend that. Except Sam seems to be all about that. I suppose that can be a decent strategy. I am not very good at this game. He has all of his on the board at once. That is interesting. Man, I'm just spinning yellow all the time. So what happens if I put a new guy- Yep! <laughs> if you can land on the same spot as one of his, they go away. However, if he lands on the same spot as one of yours, you go away. So I'm in a delicate situation now. <laughs> there you go, Sam. Don't spin a purple. Oh, I hope I spin another purple. That would be lovely. Ah, blue. Hippo! Now, I'm not sure I, if I could pass my home base or not. I can't. Woohoo! You got one piece home! Nice. What do I spin? A yellow. That's for me. Alright, this doesn't seem as hard as I remember it being when I was a kid. Yellow. I also am getting lucky with the spins, to be fair. Red. I'm taking mine kind of one at a time as well. That's also part of it. Yellow. I can move that guy one, or I can move this guy. I don't really care if he goes back to start. Back to start for you. Yeah, that's fine. Woohoo! I'm still in the lead, Sam, so don't get cocky. Oh, Sam! If I get a blue, that would be awesome. Yellow, that's cool. Um, I can move that guy forward one, or I can move this guy forward a lot, but he can also very Which easily piece trap you me. Wanna move? I could have also uh, created a new piece, but I, I don't want that. Red, uh, that's too dangerous, I'm not gonna do that. Oh wait, I would have gone to the corner, actually. That wouldn't be very... Actually, that would be super dangerous. Well, gee. <laughs> yes, he got his last guy out. This is beautiful. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to the corner now. Purple, eh? Hmm. Move you forward. If I get a red, that would be great. Nope, purple again. That's cool. 
my umbrella is just like slowly but surely coming closer. Yellow, eh? Oh shoot, I should not have done that. That gives him a great opportunity to get to my guy. Oh, thank goodness. Blue, eh? Hmm. You can I'm in a pretty good position right now, so. Purple, eh? I really don't want that guy going back to start. Oh, sure enough. I made a good call. Purple again. If he gets a purple as well, which the odds are pretty low, then he could send my guy back to start. But I'm also right next to my start. Of course. Back to start for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Bad idea. I need to think my spins through before doing that, because of course he spun a red. Start for you. This is kind of how I remember it going. That's okay. I'm still beating him. It's just his guys are all pretty far along the board. This is a pretty fun game, though, admittedly. Especially considering it's part of a much larger game. And no, this is not the only thing I'm doing. Don't worry. Watch out, Beetle! Sarge is right on your heels. Oh yeah, get out of there. Yes, thank you. Please, do that. Purple. Hippo! I love it when they say hippo, which they don't actually, but... Eager! Yes! Again, probably a bad move, because I guarantee he's gonna spin... Oh, he's not spinning a yellow. Can I spin a yellow? No, I spin a blue. <laughs> yeah, I'll be a jerk. Start <laughs> oh no! You. Two spaces away. Yellow, yes! Go. Don't know why I'm so excited. Purple. So here's the question if I get something besides a yellow, can I still go home? No, I can't. That's bad. That's bad, man. He's just gonna wait till he gets a purple, isn't he? Oh, yay! Wahoo! You got two pieces home! I really like the design on these pieces. It's very fun. Now, here's the problem. He's probably gonna keep his in his home base, making it very risky for me to pass it. Oh, maybe not. Why would you do that? I do not understand Sam's AI right now. He's gonna spin a blue and get rid of me. Yep, sure enough. But I've lured all his pieces out. I really like the design of the umbrellas. And I like how the pieces represent the different you. weather. And of course he's spelled a purple, because why the heck would he not? I actually kind of want his all his pieces to stay on. Because if I do that, he can't surprise me when I get really close to my home base. But no. I have to send one of his pieces back. I'm going to bolt my pieces out, because why not? I wanted to click on the other one, but that's okay. <laughs> Great choices. <laughs> Back to start for you. That's okay. No. 
Nice! All his pieces are out. Yellow, eh? I like taking my pieces one at a time. It's probably not the best strategy, but... Hey, I'm schooling Sam right now, so... Sam's admittedly also much younger than I am. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> He's just immediately going to... Yeah, I'm, I'm making some idiotic plays here. Good distance between us. Red. Blue again. Yeah, it's very smart of Sam to keep one of his guys just in his home base. Never mind. He, it's not very smart that he did that. I love the wind. All right, I gotta be careful here. So I could send his guy back to start, but I actually don't want to because I guarantee he's just gonna immediately send my guy back to start. Yellow. Man, I have spun yellow like four times in a row. Oh, thank you. That is incredibly kind of you. <laughs> Both great choices. Red would be lovely. I like this development a lot. Blue. So I could send him back to start. Actually, I think that's the best course of action. Because he can't immediately get rid of me. Yellow. Yes! Free down! You got three pieces home! I'm just now in a very sticky situation, because if I spin a color and then he spins the same... Oh, well, great. If I spin red, then I'm just dead. Or unless he's incredibly stupid. If he had just moved his new guy, I would have gone back to start. Wow, I'm just getting the worst spins. And yet, he's still being very dumb. Cool, I think I'm home free then. Because he's not using his new piece for, like, anything. <laughs> Gotta get a yellow now. Now he makes his new guy move. You can't move. Oh, well, if I get unlucky with the spins, then... <laughs> then I am dead. If he spins a purple, I can go you home. You can't move. Darn you! To start for you. I'm gonna make your life miserable now, Sam. And he's very close to getting some pieces back. Just to be honest, I don't even mind if he gets pieces back. That means there are fewer pieces that he can use to get rid of my piece. I was getting phenomenally unlucky with the space by the end, though. I spawn literally the worst colors in a row, like, many times in a row. <laughs> Hippo! There's at least a little strategy in this game, too, which is nice. Back to start for you! <laughs> this is not a good situation I'm in. Because now, anytime I pass one of his guys, he, they can... They have a chance of just sending me back. Get 
out of there. I wish it just moved your guy automatically, because I don't even have any choices. Oh no, you got one guy home. Whatever will I do? Thank you. Skip <laughs> out of there. Red would be lovely. That's less lovely. Purple would be lovely. That's also great. Yes, thank you! Red, please? Thank you. Not a purple. Don't spin a purple. Of course he did. That's the problem with this. Now, at this point, it's very much just a stalemate. Where if I just, ha if I happen to get unlucky, then I'm going back to start and have to do everything again. This is why it's good to have more, more than one piece you can potentially move. But you gotta get down to one sometime. Let's hear some Weber Factory music, please. Hey, I'm not a huge fan of this game, but I think I am home free now. Unless I am stupendously unlucky, I have won. Next time I spin yellow, I win. You can't move. So unless the spinner just doesn't cooperate with me, you can't move. Then I have won. You can't move. There we go. Good game, Pajama Sam. You got them all home! You win! Do you want to play again? No, that ate up so much time, there is no way I'm doing that again. So there's more stuff I want to show off. Oh. So first off... So there's this guy here. Hi! What do you want? I'd like to go inside, please. Are you an employee? No. Sorry, no visitors. So he says that. Now you'll remember there's an ID card as one of the inventory items. And because we have ScumVM, we can warp to the item room, grab it, and now we can actually use the ID card on him. Keep in mind, you were never supposed to be able to use the ID card to get talk to him, because once you get by him, you actually get the ID card and you can't go back. So I wonder what would happen if we did this. Whoa, what happened? Can I go inside, please? Employee, huh? Sorry, you'll have to use the employee entrance. Where's that? If you don't know, I'm not gonna tell you. So the animation doesn't exist there, but they actually did program in dialogue for that. They anticipated that, which is awesome. And that's not the only thing I want to do. So once we get inside... Oh, I kind of want to complete the puzzle. That's the darkness puzzle. So now do we happen to have two ID cards? We do have two ID cards. So what if we uncheck it, check it again, and I also want to get the hard hat. Okay. 
So if you put on the hard hat here, this is what I was trying to show off in both the paths. If you put on the hard hat here and then wait like 20 seconds, something funny happens. I'm actually going to try to complete the puzzle, because it's a great puzzle. Alright, nothing in there. Except the Velocimometer, but, you know. Hey, I <laughs> That's a lot of cheese in the background, isn't it? So besides that, there's a couple other things I want to just show off. Six eight zero, cool. So I'm going to complete the puzzle. I'm going to show off a few more of the questions that board members can get, uh, ask you. Maybe a couple other things. Half food? I. Hey, I. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, let's see. What is the key to having happy employees? Oh man, I'll, all of these apply. Free soda pop! Yes, alright. That's very perceptive. <laughs> nice. I'm ready to go. A plastic item that can be used in place of money is... A debit card. A debit card. Yes, quite so. <laughs> That's what I use. All... Go ahead. And... An area where there is very little water is called what? A mountain. No, mountains have plenty of water. I think desert would be a better answer. Whoa. <laughs> Go ahead and... What is the number of ballpoint pens an average employee will take home from the office each year? A hundred. Amazing. According to our figures, that's exactly right. Wait, really? <laughs> On average, every... Try oh. another one. Okay. I feel like that is not correct. Go ahead and... What is the difference between microeconomics and macroeconomics? Nobody knows. I do. It's <laughs> basically a difference in size. <laughs> ah, I thought, Go like, I like Sam's if answer. If Tom gets 1,200 frequent flyer miles a month, how long before he gets <laughs> a free trip to Jamaica? The airline probably doesn't even fly to Jamaica. That's absolutely correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> that was worth it. Nice. That doesn't do anything unless you actually have the Velocimometer in the bathroom, though. Oh, oh hi. S excuse me, George, someone. I didn't see you there. Oh yeah, this happens. If There's someone in here. That's how I knew the snow inspector was in the bathroom, because if the velocimometer's not in the bathroom, and it's still unlocked, and you can actually go inside it, that means that the snow inspector must be in there. Because otherwise there's no reason to need to go in the bathroom. Yes, I'm completing the puzzle. Darkness is a great guy, and he deserves to have his puzzle announced to the world. Hey, I... <laughs> it's truly an amazing hey, I... puzzle. Okay, sometimes there's a puzzle piece up there and it's yellow and it's very hard to see. Here's... Oh, we never got that one. Ooh, let's have some more fun with the debug menu, shall we? Hmm. 
Oh, wow, if you get the snow, if you get Sid, he disappears, doesn't he? Oh, that's actually very well done. <laughs> Here's the Aha, Fatso. <laughs> Let's put Velo back, shall we? I should <laughs> Hi! Will you be coming with us to the snow machine? You'll go on ahead. Okay, apparently the snow inspector was here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, I must have... Must have missed a puzzle piece somewhere. Oh, there it is. Here's... Ta-da! Cheese and crackers, darkness! It looks like darkness put on a few pounds. That's okay, darkness. I don't need to feel bad. Alright, Snow Inspector, get back here. Actually, I wanted to see what happens if... Hey guys, maybe you can be friends now. With this Sub-Zero Simpleton? With this Loudmouth Rabble Rouser? I see. <laughs> nice! The Inspector is... Wait, hang on. The Inspector is back in that other room. <laughs> no? Uh, hey, little buddy. I don't think I that's don't true. Think that all right. So now what I want to do, I want to show off all the Mother Nature lines. So... Making a temporary save there. Putting the Y-pipe back. Okay, here we are. Time to go back to work. Do I have to? Of course you do. Why? Because if you don't, then the rain machine won't work and we'll run out of rain. So? So, we need rain. It's good for plants and stuff like that. I know, I was just having fun with you. Why? Well, because... Gotcha! What do you know, I guess you did. Alright, put me back in the machine already. You do that. Sam? I wish you'd stop sneaking up on me like that. Sorry, Sam. We wanted to say we're very impressed with the way you've been fixing the weather machine. Thank you! At this rate, we'll have everything ship -shape before anyone even notices anything was wrong. Hang on for a second, Sam. That's our call waiting. <laughs> Mother Nature! What on earth is going on over there? But nothing. Everything's under control. Don't hand me that claptrap! I read your incident report. You left out one or two things. Uh, what things would those be? Well, for example, why isn't it sunny in Acapulco? I distinctly said I wanted sun on my vacation. <laughs> 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 yep, so depending on which piece you do last, Mother Nature's line will change to reflect that. Hello? Is somebody out there? Wingnut, you're in my pocket! How is this possible? Hello? Who's there? Why, it's Wingnut, of course. Wingnut? <laughs> Pretty sure I have Wingnut in my... Yeah, I do. No, he'd only get lost again. Again? So there are two Wingnuts, apparently. Attention! All personnel, the president is arriving. This is not a drill. And not a moment too soon, I see. So they shorten the dialogue there if you save Wingnut last. And you don't even get to meet the other parts of the sun machine. Woot. Okay, so that's that path. And now, because I made that, uh, not safe state, but I made the save, we're gonna put Wingnut back first. So that way we can see what happens for Mother Nature if the Y pipe is the last one we are, put on. Wingnut. And not a moment too soon, I see. Boy, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes without everything getting all out of whack, can I? Hmm? Oh, sure, that's right, Wingnut. Yeah, you must be the most important guy here. That 
looks better already. What would we do without you? You know, it actually does look better. Yeah. Hello, Sam. I wish you'd stop sneaking up on me like that. Sorry, Sam. We wanted to say we're very impressed with the way you've been fixing the weather machines. Thank you. At this rate, we'll have everything shipshape before anyone even notices anything was wrong. Hang on for a second, Sam. That's our call waiting. Nothing. Everything's under control. Don't hand me that claptrap. I read your incident report. You left out one or two things. Uh, what things would those be? Well, for example, why isn't it raining in the rainforests? My plants are wilting. So Mother Nature lives in the rainforest, apparently. Interesting. Now, I, can't, I think the wide pipe, if you put him back last, actually has different dialogues, so I'll show that off, and that's all I want to show off in the game. Time to get back to work. Do I have to? Of course you do. Why? Because if you don't, then the rain machine won't work and we'll run out of rain. So? Well... Attention, all personnel. The president is arriving. This is not a drill. No time to argue. This is an emergency. Bam. <laughs> so that's, I think, pretty much everything in Pajama Sam 2 to show off that I can. Except maybe all the different puzzles, but I'm not doing that. I know there's an auto puzzle that we didn't do. Oh my gosh, those look like Mickey Mouse. His pants. Anyhow, that's all the time we have for this Let's Play. I showed off everything I want to. There is one secret in the game that is... Pretty horrifying, to be honest, so I'm not showing that off on my channel, definitely not. Anyhow, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this Let's Play, I hope to see you for the next one that I do, it's gonna be awesome! Have a great day, and God bless!